There's a new lighting technology around recently. I've seen a lot of new fixtures coming onto the market and they're called intercanopy or intracanopy lights. So in general, we have our regular top lights which shine down onto the plant canopy. And these are additional lights that you can put underneath the canopy, shining upwards into the lower leaves and lower parts of the plant or indeed from the side. The question is, do they work? Well, in short, they do, but there are some caveats that I'm gonna go into in detail. First of all, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, get all the updates uh, on grow light reviews, comparisons, new tech, and uh, any and technical advice. And please subscribe and also check out the link below to our extensive blog on the website covering all of these sort of topics. So, as I said, intercanopy light can be additional to your top light and be positioned underneath the plant canopy. But when should you use it and how much should you use? So recent studies by Fluence uh, Bioengineering, they are an LED grow lighting company, been around for a long time with a big reputation and um, do lots of work in the commercial uh, market. And they have released studies that they've done which demonstrate that you can supplemental, supplement the top light with intracanopy lighting and maximize the yield you can get from your space by doing that. So currently uh, grow lighting manufacturers and generally people tend to use around eight or 900 micromoles average power on the top of the plant canopy. That would equate to about 350 watts per square meter or 35 watts per square foot. And Fluence found that you can supplement that type li top lighting at about 50% additional lighting or power, uh, lighting from underneath, and you still get a return on that, a one-to-one -one return. So adding 50 watts, for example, or 50% more light gives you 50% more growth. And this is really incredible. However, they did find that going beyond that can be, uh, you get a reducing, when a flat line is really the, the, the return you get. And then if you put too much in, uh, and particularly strain dependence, you can get negative effects, such as um, you know mutations of the plants, foxtailing, re-vegging and that type of thing. So it's advised not to go much over a total of about 50 watts per square foot or 500 watts per square meter. So generally, as I said, people would have that sort of 35 watts per square foot from above. Um, so there is the potential of getting 50% more yield from the same space by using intracanopy lighting. So what are the things to look out for? Well, in terms of that intracanopy light, you want it to be IP rated. That's ingress protection rated. Uh, a minimum, I'd say 56, which allows water to be splashed on it. Um, it's going to be in there in, in quite a damp environment with lots of condensation. So you want to be the, the, the fixture to be sealed and not um, an electrical risk. You also want those LEDs to be covered. So most intracanopy lights uh, uh, should have and do have um, acrylic or uh, perspex covers over the LEDs, protecting the LEDs because you don't want dirt, dust, uh, water landing directly on the LEDs when they're facing upwards. It would cause hot spots on the LEDs and cause them to burn out, it will damage them and may even cause a fire. Ideally as well, you are able to control them simultaneously. Um, so you'd be able to connect them up onto the same timing and dimmer, dimmer circuit with your main lights. Um, you would also uh, ideally have the, the driver remote from the fixture. I see a lot of the fixtures have the LED drivers inside the fixture. That's just going to add to the heat and um, that you're putting in there underneath your canopy. And um, if you haven't, please check out my crop steering uh, by temperature video. But you do want to keep those canopy temperatures uh, down relatively low, particularly in the um, flowering stage so that you um, maintain the potency uh, and you don't evaporate off the, all those lovely terpenes and flavonoids and cannabinoids. Having tested a lot of the uh, high power intensity light fixtures as well, I think there is an additional benefit with the intercanopy. So if you're putting, for example, a 750 watt in watts of light into a 4x4 or a 1.2 by 1.2 meter tent, that will tend to have quite high power intensity, particularly in the center of the plant canopy. Um, and by changing that setup to having 500 watts above and 250 watts below, it's less likely that you are going to uh, sort of stress out 
um, those buds, particularly at the top of the plant with um, very high power intensity. You're kind of evening it out throughout the plant. So I think there's sort of an additional benefit there. Uh, I don't do an intercanopy light at the moment, unfortunately, but have one in development. So it will be available in the new year. Um, uh, but there are many on the market available at the moment. So uh, yeah, just have a look around um, and uh, you know, leave comments below. We'll try and get back to you about them, about your setup and what would be ideal for you. And also, as I said, check out the blog post I have, which goes into the numbers a little bit more and uh, a little bit more into the advice and how to set up tips and tricks and that sort of thing. Hope you enjoyed. Look forward to hearing from you again and uh, take care.